morning welcome to my 30 minute yoga flow it would have been so nice to be able to do this live with you guys but obviously due to circumstances everything has been pre-recorded for you i really hope you enjoy it it's a really super easy beginners grounding flow to bring you out of your head and into your body so that you are more aware of your senses and can enjoy things such as beer with a little bit more awareness start seated Hands resting on your knees, feeling the body grounding into the earth. The sit bones connecting to the mat. Shoulders away from the ears. And become aware of your breath. Conscious of the breath. Coming out of your head and into your body. Breathing in. And breathing out. Feeling where you're connected to the mat. And then bring your hands to your heart center and your belly. And then breathe in. And breathing out. Making sure you're sitting tall, the sit bones connected, shoulders relaxed. Growing tall out of the crown of the head. Making sure your eyes are closed and your facial features are soft. Feeling the chest and the belly expand with every inhale. And then deflate with every exhale hands back to center and gently open the eyes and then tilt your head to the right and then if you want to bring the hand to the side of the head to allow a little weight feeling a lovely neck stretch back to center and drop the head to the other side and do the same waking up those neck muscles feeling the tension release and then back to center. And then come into a side stretch on the first side. Really, as you breathe in, feel that side of the ribs expand, all the intercostal muscles opening. And then back to center. And the same on the other side, to the left. And then back to center. Reaching the arms up overhead. And then a good shoulder roll. Before you come to your kneeling position, so wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, we're gonna come into a few cat and cows. So as you inhale, you arch the spine, push the floor away with the shoulders, and then come down and arch your spine into your cow, looking up for an extra neck stretch, and then push back into your cow, pushing the floor away with the hands. And then again, dropping the belly, push the sit bones to the sky and gently lift the chin. One more time, same, pushing the floor away, angry cat. And then arching the spine, coming into your cow. Coming back to a neutral spine, curl the toes under and push into your first downward dog up to date. Maybe keeping the knees bent. Walk the knees if you want to, giving the calves a little bit of a stretch. Before you look to the hands, and step the feet to the front of the mat, coming into your forward fold. Bending the knees if you need to, try and keep the weight out of the heels. Relaxing the backs of the hands on the floor if you want to. And then slowly roll up, coming to standing. Give your shoulders a bit of a roll and find your Tadasana. Feeling the heels, the balls of the feet and all five toes on the floor grounding, coming out of your head and into your body. Bring the hands to prayer. We're going to come into sun salutation A. So we inhale and we exhale, hands in prayer. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees as much as you need you to get the hands flat to the floor. Inhale, you come into your half rise. So imagine yourself as a shoulder bracket exhale coming back down stepping back into your plank take a breath where you are and as you exhale drop the knees and if this is where you want to stay you do join us back in downward dog for those who want to push a little bit further drop the chin and the chest to the floor inhale coming up into your baby cobra and exhale, push back into your downward facing dog again maybe need to keep the knees bent pushing back 
rolling the shoulder blades down away from the shoulders, keeping the belly hugged to the spine, pushing the sit bones to the sky. Look to the hands, step the feet forwards. Inhale, again, half rise, shelf bracket. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, standing through flat back if you can. And as you exhale, hands come all the way back down to prep. We're going to do this twice more. Inhale and exhale where you are. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, coming into your forward fold. Again, if you need to, bend the knees, keeping the weight out of the heels. Inhale, half rise. Exhale, coming into your forward fold and stepping back into your plank. Take a breath where you are. And as you exhale, drop the knees, the chin and the chest to the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. And exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Those who didn't come all the way down, come and join us into downward facing dog. Take a breath where you are. Exhale. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, step the feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, coming into your half rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way back up to standing. And exhale, hands back down to prayer. One last time, we inhale and we exhale. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale as you half rise. Inhale, hands come down, stepping back into your plank. If you really want to push yourself, stay in your plank, hug the elbows into the body and lower the body all the way down to the floor. Inhale into your baby cobra. Exhale down into your downward facing dog. Taking a breath where you are. Maybe you want to pedal the feet, stretch the calves. The body should feel a little bit warmer at this moment. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, step the feet to the front of the mat. Coming into your forward fold, relaxing the backs of the hands onto the floor. Or maybe hold onto the ankles and pull the body down. Or the ends of the elbows. And allow the weight of the body to feel a stretch in the backs of the hamstrings. Roll all the way up to standing. Give yourself a good shoulder roll and take a moment in your Tadasana, your mountain pose. How are you feeling right now? Hands to prayer. Feeling all feet on the floor. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half rise. Exhale, step the right foot back into your lunge and drop the back knee down, making sure the front leg is at a right angle. Inhale, bring the arms up. Interlace the fingers behind the back, lift the chest up to the sky, gently lifting the chin as well, feeling a stretch across the front of the chest. Bringing the arms back up, drop the left hand down next to the left knee and come into a side stretch. As you circle the body around, drop the hips back and come into a hamstring stretch. Coming back into your lunge, curl the back toe under, Coming into your runner's lunge, step the left foot back to meet it. Lower all the way down to the floor or drop the knees first before you come into your baby cobra. Exhale down and come up into your downward facing dog. Take a moment before you look forwards and step the feet to the front of the mat. Again in your forward fold. Half rise. Come back down and come all the way up to standing through flat back if you can and exhale the hands come back down to prayer and we do that again on the other side so we inhale the arms come up exhale forward fold inhale half rise exhale get ready to step the left foot back dropping the left knee down making sure the right knee is the right angle to the ankle inhale bring the arms up Settle where you are. 
circle the arms down interlace the fingers behind the back and again lift the chest to the sky lifting the chin if you want to bring in the arms up drop the right hand down and come into a side stretch over the right leg circling the arm over drop the hips back and come into your lovely hamstring stretch feel the hamstrings wake up rocking the body forwards come back into your lunge curl the back foot under bring the back foot to meet the front and coming into your forward fold if you want to interlace the fingers behind the back you can leave them on the pelvis or let them drop forwards into a shoulder stretch neck relax down and then make your way all the way up into chair pose so dropping the hips down like you're sitting on a chair and release that tailbone allow it to arch out bringing the hands up allow the chest to open before you come to standing and hands all the way back down to prayer again finding that moment feel the heels and balls of the feet and all five toes on the floor ten toes even and take a moment to check in where you are before you lift the left foot and bring it back into your crescent lunge this time leave the knee off the floor and really push up off those toes arms up take a breath and then open out into your warrior two so the back foot comes in line with the back of the mat the front foot faces forwards hips open and you gaze over that front arm gazing over the middle finger Bring the front arm to the thigh and then come into your extended side angle. Opening the body, rotating from the middle of the spine up. Circle that top arm once. And again, bringing it down and coming and opening your feet up so that you're facing the middle, both feet parallel. Maybe pigeon the toes in and let the body allow to relax forwards, hands down on the floor, feeling a lovely stretch down both legs. Allow the head to relax down, bending the knees as much as you need you to find that comfort. Turning the back foot to face the back of the mat, coming into a side lunge as deep as you can go. It doesn't matter how far you go, this time on your mat is your own. Flexing that extended leg, hands come to prayer. Placing the opposite hand to the back foot down, creating another form of support, coming back into a crescent lunge, come into a closed twist, reaching that arm up to the sky. Look up to the arm if you can. Circle that arm back down and then step the back foot to meet the front. So you should be at the back of your mat at this point, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, coming back into your chair pose. So again, sinking the hips down, release the tailbone, reaching the arms up and come back to Tadasana standing, hands come back down to prayer. Take a breath. Release and step that right foot back. Inhale, the arms come up, you are in your crescent lunge. Weight in the front foot, settle in. Inhale, turn the back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat and open into your warrior two, gazing over that middle finger. Bring in the front arm, you come into your extended side angle on the other side, reaching the arm up, rotating from the centre of the ribs. Again, we circle that top arm over and coming up into your extended side angle one last time. Then release the body over, coming into the middle, both feet face the sides of the mat and coming into your forward fold, pigeon the toes in. Allow the gravity to pull the tops of the body down. Again, if you want to come into a shoulder stretch, interlace the fingers and allow them to drop forwards. Remember to keep breathing deep breaths in. And exhale it out. Release the arms. And now rotate the right foot to face the front. And come into your hip stretch on the other side, your low lunge. Hands come to prayer. Body up. Breathing. Flexing the extended foot. Hand comes in line with the front foot again, opposite arm to leg, coming into a close twist, reaching up, rotating from the waist, bringing that top arm down, step the back foot to meet the front foot, coming into your forward fold, again weight out of the heels, roll all the way up to standing, inhale, bring the arms up grab hold of the left wrist and reach over to the right lovely side stretch coming back to center 
holding the right wrist, coming over to the left, feeling those sides of the body opening up, growing taller every time, hands back down to prayer. Take a moment where you are, a moment to check into where you are with your body. Bring your mind back into your body, never mind where it's gone whilst you've been doing those stretches. We want to be in the present. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Head relaxed, hands to the floor. Inhale, coming into your half rise. Exhale and step back into your plank, taking a breath. And as you exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale into your baby cobra. And exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment where you are. Lift the right foot and bring it forwards into your lunge. Drop the back knee down. Coming up, sitting tall, knee at 90 degrees to the ankle, bringing the back foot in, pulling the heel to the glute. Inhale, bring the arms up. And if you want to hold the ankle of the back foot and pull it towards the glute, then you can do so. Deeper quad stretch. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, bringing the hands down either side of the front foot, bringing the toes up and coming into a shorter stance. Pulling back into the heel of the back foot, squaring the hips, coming into a forward fold over the front leg, feeling an intense stretch down the back of the hamstring. Keep breathing. Send the oxygen to where it feels tight. Imagine that muscle relaxing. From here, you're going to bring the hands to your hips, coming into a flat back, and we're going to come into our warrior three and test our balance just a little bit, making sure the back and the back leg are in line, flexing that foot down to the floor, holding onto the core. Bend the back foot so it comes in. Bend it at 90 degrees. We'll test the balance and then come back to your Tadasana. Take a moment, hands to prayer. Inhale. Hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming into your half rise. Exhale, hands down, coming into your plank. Again, take a breath. And as you exhale, lower all the way down to the floor or as you have been doing, just lowering the knees and joining us in downward facing dog when you're ready. From your cobra, you push up into your downward facing dog. This time you lift the right leg and step the right leg forwards into your lunge. Dropping the back knee down, lifting the body up, core engaged. If this isn't a few, stay where you are. Or again, lift the heel to the glute, hands up. And if you want to, hold with both hands the ankle and pull it closer to the body. Remember to keep breathing. Chest open, chin lifted. Release the leg, hands frame the front foot, coming back into your lunge and then shorten the stance. Bring in the feet slightly wider so that you're not standing on a tightrope and allow the body to fold over the front leg. Trying to keep a straight flat back if you can, relaxing the head down. Inhale, hands come to the hips, flat back, lift the back leg up into your warrior three, foot remains flexed. Core engaged, keeping the balance. Find your drishti. Stare at a spot that doesn't move. Bring the lifted foot up 90 degrees in front of the body. Test the balance before you foot back down. Find your Tadasana. Widen the feet ever so slightly. Turn the toes out and squat down. Find your Malasana, your yogi squat. Nice straight back, chin lifted, hands in prayer in front of the chest. Now the moment if you want to come and fly with me in crow. Find some space, hands come down to the floor and find your crow. If malasana is enough for you, stay in your squat, lovely hip opener. <laughs> Balancing is not working for me today. Bringing the feet back down, come back into your malasana, find that balance, and then gently rock back onto the sit bones and find your seated position. 
extending the legs out in front of you, your dandasana, your seated mountain pose, shifting any sort of excess flesh away, finding the sit bones onto the floor, inhale, bring the arms up and exhale forward, fold over the legs as far as is comfortable for you. This is your practice. And take a few moments, allow the head to relax down. Lovely stretch down the back of the legs. Keep the belly button sucked to the spine. Keep breathing. With every exhale, see if you can feel a little heavier, melt a little closer to the legs. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring the hands behind you, fingertips facing towards the hips, slightly wider. Neither come into tabletop or extend the legs, bringing the heels slightly in, a push up. And then if you want to drop the head back, you can. Lovely opposite stretch to our forward fold. Take a moment here and then drop the hips back down, bring the head back to center. And then just take a moment. Inhale, lift the legs, we're going to vinyasa around, bend the knees in, cross the ankles and roll over and step back into your plank. Again, we're here, take a breath, lower all the way down into your baby cobra, miss the vinyasa out if it's too much for you. Exhale, back down, push back into your downward facing dog. And then drop the knees down and come into kneeling. We're going to come into camel pose. Lovely heart opener, beautiful back bend. So coming up, curl the toes under, sitting up nice and tall. Hands to the base of the pelvis. Push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes. And then lean back. If you want to advance it further, bring the hands to the tops of the heels. And squeezing the glutes, you can allow the head to drop back. And then from here, coming back up, bringing the hands to the base of the spine, bring the sit bones back to the heels and just take a moment in child's pose. Take a moment to relax, a moment to breathe. Coming back up to kneeling and make your way back up to seated. So extending the legs out in front of you again. We're going to come into some seated twists. So bringing the right leg over the left, crossing at the knee. The right arm comes to the base of the spine. The left arm comes to the outside of the right knee and you twist. With every inhale, you grow taller. With every exhale, you see if you can twist a little further. Making sure you sit nice and tall, keeping that extended leg, the foot flexed. Coming back to center. Leaning back ever so slightly, bend that bottom knee up, cross the right ankle over the left knee, bring in the hands behind you, and then push the body forwards. Beautiful glute stretch. We're probably spending a lot more time seated at the moment, so we want these stretches. We want to wake the body up. We want to feel grounded. Sitting nice and tall, tall spine. Release the leg down. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. And then same on the other side. So bring in the other leg over. Same arm as bent leg comes to behind the sit bone and then cross the elbow over, twisting on the other side, growing tall as you inhale. And as you exhale, twist just that little bit further. Looking over that shoulder, but no straining. Don't force it. They're millimeters, millimeters every time you try and twist a little further. Coming back to center again, bend that le underneath leg under, bringing the ankle to cross over the knee, hands behind the spine and push the chest forwards. Lovely stretch. Notice if one glute feels tighter than the other or if both glutes feel super tight. Sitting up nice and tall, remembering to keep breathing. Release the legs down, give them a little bit of a shake. Now we're gonna come into Navasana boat pose. So there's three options. You can leave the tops of the toes on the floor. You can release them and release the hands. So coming into your pose, we're gonna hold this for 10, whichever option is for you, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Curl the, cross the feet and the ankles, roll over, come back into your plank and lower the body all the way down to the floor. From there, you're gonna bring the elbows underneath the shoulders and lift the body up. We're gonna come into Sphinx. So sitting nice and tall, pushing the chest forward nice and proud. If this is enough for you, stay where you are. Otherwise, with inhale, straighten the arms and push a little further. And exhale, bring the forearms back down to the mat. Twice more if this is what you choose to do. Otherwise, bring the hands underneath the shoulders and come into your King Cobra. Pushing all the way up, nice and proud. Stay in your sphinxes. If this is enough for you, lower all the way back down. Hands underneath the forehead. Give the hips a little bit of a wiggle. Take a moment. And then roll over onto your backs. We're going to come. We're starting to wind down now. We're going to come into our bridges. So feet about hips distance or a little bit wider fingertips grazing the hips pushing up into your bridge and then when you lower back down top of the vertebra down to the pelvis inhale lower the hips come all the way up exhale all the way back down dropping the pelvis down last one last time inhale pelvis up first pushing up if you want to walk the shoulders under and interlace the fingers if you want to push even further come onto the toes of the feet lower the heels come all the way back down bringing the knees into the chest and rock from side to side lovely little back bend sequence there Take a moment and then extend the right leg out. Bring the left knee into the body and cross it over, coming into a supine spinal twist. Look in the opposite way. Lovely stretch in the lower back. Remember to keep breathing. We're slowing down now at this moment. Coming back to center. Circle that knee in and then bring the other one in. Twisting it over to the other side, so bringing it over into a twist. Extending the arm and look the opposite way to your bent leg. Delicious spinal twist. And again, bringing it back to center, circle the knee, release the hip. And then extend the leg back and find your Shavasana. Time to embody the practice that you have just done, closing the eyes. Allow yourself to feel heavy on the mat. And I want you to imagine that you're in a corridor and there are cold flagstones on the floor and you see that there is an opening of you sort of in front head of this tunnel and there is this bright light. So you walk towards it and you see and you step out onto a beach. And the sand feels so soft and warm between the toes. You scrunch your toes and you feel it. You feel all those grains of sand. And then you continue walking forwards. And as you keep walking, you can hear the gentle roar of the sea as it laps up onto the beach. And you can smell the saltiness of the air. You can hear the birds tweeting. You are on your own on this beach. This is your own private beach. You see a coconut tree and you go and sit for a little moment. And you take in your surroundings, you close your eyes and you use your senses. The warm sand under your feet and under your hands, the breeze on your skin, the warmth of the sun and the sound of the sea, the smell of the sea. You allow it to wash over you, immerse yourself a moment of tranquility and a moment of peace. And then you open your eyes again and you see the sea and you realize it is time to go. And you get up once more from your spot by the palm tree and you slowly make your way back to that doorway leaving the sound and the smell of the sea behind you, the feel of the warm sand between your toes as you step back onto the cold flagstones. Bring back into the room. 
hands to prayer. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed your flow, feeling super zen now. And don't forget to donate to uh, the Refuge Charity. The link is in the website of Women on Tap. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget about my classes.